Daisy election officials tell us while there may not be a lot of new policies, the most important thing is that candidates abide by them to ensure the fairest election possible and of course that campaign workers and supporters don't break the law. Election season is just days away, kicking off February 18th with early voting. That means campaigning is at its peak, but candidates might want to double check where they post their signs or risk having them taken down. Hidalgo County is enforcing new regulations prohibiting signage in specific county-owned areas. Now, political signs and literature can only be handed out or placed on county-owned property during the two-week early voting period from February 18th to the 28th and on Election Day, March 4th. All activity must be stopped no later than one hour after the voting period ends, according to the rule. Any new rule is a big deal, especially when, when it happens so close to the election date. So it, it is important for everyone to know any changes or any modifications they need to make. Hidalgo County Democratic Chair Kelly Rivera Salazar tells Action 4 these rules will be enforced to comply with the Texas Election Code. Candidates received notice of the regulations via email on Friday, but Salazar says candidates should be familiar with most of the rules already since most were already being enforced. For instance, the candidates are not permitted to to electioneer within 100 feet of county-owned property, and that's always been the rule. The other major change is that tractors, trailers, loudspeakers will not be allowed at any time on county-owned property, and law enforcement will be on the lookout for these easy-to-spot violations. The constable's office will be notified and they'll most likely be asked to leave the location for violating the rules, mm. but this is not a grounds to remove someone from, from their candidacy. Salazar tells Action 4 News that the candidates and campaign workers need to understand these regulations, but doesn't believe the changes will affect candidates' campaigns or voter turnout. In the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.